What is up, guys? It is the sports nerd Bradley Walker, and welcome to the Walker Report, part of In the Zone Sports Talk Radio, part of NGSC Sports. Guys, remember the website. It's NGSCSports.com for all your current sports content. We are sponsored by CreatingZenSpaces.com, the local choice in St. Petersburg, Florida, for house cleaning, organization, decluttering, and pet sitting. It's about finding the peace within you and adding comfort to your life. <clears throat> Welcome in, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, we did have a break last week uh, for Easter. Took a week off. And uh, next week, guys, we're going to be straining to cover the first round of the NH NFL NHL draft. Talk about that. NFL draft next week. Uh, the NHL draft, I think, is coming up, too. So that's cool. But the NFL draft next week, it'll be an all NFL draft show. Um, and by the way, guys, you won't see me looking to my left or my right. I have adjusted my thing to look straight ahead at the TV. So you're not going to see me turning my head uh, one way or the other. Uh, I'm going to move my room around this weekend to kind of adjust it to make it permanently like this. But anyway, guys, let me go ahead and bring on my two esteemed great co-hosts. Good evening. Girl. Esteemed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I, I had no idea the NFL, the NFL NH were emerging uh, dra uh, draft yes. this year. I yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a what? NHL NFL merge. We're gonna be wow, there we go. Amazing. Nobody told me this earlier though. Why am I always the last to know? <laughs> the cover I didn't hear anything about it either. Yeah. Okay, I'm the second last to know. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna cover. So, gentlemen, how was your Easter? How was both your Easters? It was fun. Good. 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 All right. Yeah, my family came over late in the day, and uh, we celebrated like a well, Easter uh, late late in the day. Mm. Cool, cool. Anything, anything exciting happened last week? Anything new? Anything? Same old, no. same. Old? Yeah, same old. Okay. Well. Worked all week, and now I'm here. <laughs> same old. We're here. All right. Yeah, same here, guys. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, I am currently watching the Lightning uh, Leafs game. If Steven Stamkos gets one point, he will yeah. be the all-time leader in points in Lightning history. Wow. He the Wii, uh in points. He already leads the team. Possible? Yeah, he already leads the team in goals, and if he gets one point tonight, he will surpass uh, Marty St. Louis all time. So I don't know if he was passing St. Louis or, or Vinny. Uh, he, he's going to pass St. Louis. He passed with Le Cavier leads with goals. He passed with Cavier a while back. So now mm. it's but they're going in the wrong direction. They keep making uh, too many uh, defensive errors that cost them hockey games. So. They can't yeah, do that I against Toronto. <laughs> my Rangers are pouring it on. Oh, ah. The Rangers are a good team. Yeah. I, you know, look for them to be in, I hope they do well in the playoffs. I mean, we're on, you they know, should be dangerous. That's the one thing that worries me, though, when they do so well in the regular season, that they seem like, you know, the crew, teams cruise along in the regular season, and then when it comes to the playoffs, they just run out of gas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, everything gets so much tighter in the playoffs. You can say kind that. Of hoping, kind of hoping that happens to Florida. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? Yes. I'm sorry. They're yes. going to be a top out this year. Did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've done, I've done it myself. <laughs> I mean, because there's because there's one thing that I have, um, you know, when I talk about the show, my show, when I talk about the topics. I mentioned, and there is one thing that I always seem to cover up when I do my topics because uh, there's one thing I try to say very out loud. And are you guys, and, and those of you who know me, I think you know what I mean, right? Do mm. I have to say it? <laughs> do I have to say it? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll give you a hint. It could be the most four useless letters in the alphabet. Four useless letters in the alphabet. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. Fire away. The USFL? You got it. For a minute, I didn't think you were going to know. No, we're going to talk about that tonight, actually. That's going to be you a topic we're going to get into. Yeah. You stupid freaking losers. <laughs> we're going to get into that topic tonight. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I, I have a quick soccer – if I could actually talk tonight. A quick soccer topic. Ooh. I didn't know this, but I don't know if you guys knew or not, but I guess Chelsea – the Premier League team is for sale. Oh, yeah, I heard they, that. I heard they booted him out. I guess they had, was owned, they were owned by a Russian, and I guess they booted uh -oh. him out. Yeah, because yeah, of what's I mean, going on with the thing in uh, Ukraine. 
Yes. So, um, what I've read is that Serena Williams and her husband, or Lewis Hamilton, I don't know if that's who she's married to, um, have tried, have put in a bid to possibly own them. I did not know that. Oh. Yeah, it looks hmm. like it says Chelsea was put up for sale by owner Roman Abarma shortly after the invasion of Ukraine in February. Uh, Abarma Rach, who has ties to Russia and President Vladimir Putin, made the move before the British government imposed sanctions on him. Okay. So I guess uh, Williams is one of them. Um, looks like Los Angeles Chargers part time owner Todd Bowley and Boston Celtics co owner Steve. Peg Lusa are also on the short list of interested buyers for the hmm. team. Uh, and I don't watch a lot of Premier League soccer, but Chelsea happens to be my favorite franchise. So hang on just a second, guys. I got to adjust this fan real quick, but go ahead. Mm-hmm. What, what, what's your guys' opinion on, on that? Hmm. I mean, do you, th- I mean, obviously with everything going on overseas, yes, you know, obviously they're going to start imp- imposing sanctions on these guys. Well, they're imposing sanctions on all sports. I mean, you know, you should see what they're doing with, with Wimbledon. They're they're banning players from from Russia and Belarus. But you know what? Medvedev has a point. I mean, you're punishing the players for what? Okay, mm-hmm. so the Russian-born players, they're not responsible for this. Why are you punishing them? They had nothing to do with this. That was that. I, okay. I was going to bring that up tonight. That was one of the topics in tennis. I was going to bring yeah. up. We can combine the two. Yeah, but you're right. Why? Why are the athletes that have nothing to do with the invasion have to do with why are they being punished? That's true. Mm-hmm. I agree. They're being punished for being born there. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean they're they're a professional tennis. Player that's a goal. Country they're from. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. But I mean, I guess that's the way the world works. I guess right now, apparently, stupid for, for something that you have nothing to do with. I mean, you have nothing yeah. to do with. The invasion that's going on, they have no. nothing to do with it. No control being, over it either. It's nope. like being punished for a crime you didn't commit. Correct. Or it's like being punished for a crime that somebody else committed. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Exactly. So you know, you know, like doing you know, the sanctions. I mean, there's going to be sanctions. You know, I think in, in all the sports, you know. I mean, the NHL is half half the um, organization is from Russia or Belarus and whatnot. But mm-hmm. um, you know, and who knows before you're going to start punishing the, punishing those players? Yeah, right. Which, if you do, the league is going to be destroyed. And they've already had they've already had players lose endorsement deals just from yes. just. I'm aware of that. Just because they're from Russia. Well, see, that's unfortunate because, again, like you said, why are the players being punished? Mm-hmm. And for the players to be punished, okay. they have nothing to do with it. No. So, yeah, actually, the, the tennis thing, I was going to talk about that. That was something I was going to talk about, how Wimbledon had banned any Belarus or Russian players from playing. Mm-hmm. In that so, I mean, the, the, the bad thing about it is it won't impact who shows up and who wins and all that stuff. That's the no, no. That's the bad. No, it's not. I wish it. I wish it would. In a way, you know, it, it's not going to hurt. It doesn't hurt the Russian government. No, they don't care. You think they care that their players aren't playing? No, no, no. they don't give a crap. No. They don't care. No. Yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't give a rat's ass that they're two shits, yeah. man. I was messing a cat's ass, but okay. But mm. <laughs> you could say it either way. However, you want to say it. A rat's ass, a cat's ass, or anybody else's ass, for that matter. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 yeah, yeah. It's yeah. I that that I, I was kind of surprised about the Chelsea thing, but then yeah, the thing with no, I forgot about that with Wimbledon too is uh, yeah, that 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 sucks. Let me just say that that sucks for anybody who you know. Um, it's from those two countries that again has nothing to do with the invasion, and they may not even yeah. support it, even though they're from Russia. But they might even support the invasion. Mm-hmm. They're being punished by the well, rest. Of the is not. Says he doesn't support it at all, and never yeah. will. Good for him. I think they asked a lot of the hockey players too that are from Russia that are like, they're, they're, we don't support either. We don't want war. 
Ovechkin no. came out and said that. I don't want war. I don't want uh-huh. that. You know. So. Right. You know. Yeah, he's having quite a he's having quite a year too. Yeah, I think he tied. Mm-hmm. Did he tie Wayne Gretzky for? No, 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 no. He, he's got but he's got a way to go for that. But he is now. He now has fifty goals on the on the year uh, for his ninth year, and he's t- okay. Well, he tied Gretzky for most for fifty goal fifty goals in in seasons nine nine fifty goal seasons. That's the record that you okay. mentioned. He tied that record, and with um the late um Mike Bossy passed Mike Bossie. last week. Yeah, we were, I was going to bring up uh, Mike Bossy tonight too. Yeah. We could talk about his passing. Yeah. Um, He's yeah. 21 away from getting uh, Mr. Hockey, but that won't be all next year. Gordy Howe, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he comes back and plays another year, he'll come back. He's not going to stop now. Who Ovi? Ovi's Ovi under contract, play. I think, for like three or four more seasons. I think if he can do that, he might have a shot at breaking Gretzky. But if he stops along the way and gets unhealthy, injured, or whatnot, um, then no. But if he stays healthy for the next four years, if nothing happens. You know, like we don't get World War Three or whatnot. Yeah, he has a yeah. Shot. yeah, he's he's got it. He's got a shot, but he's got to keep. I think we, I think we, me and my roommate discussed that the other day. He has to score forty more goals for the next four seasons to have to pass. Doable, Chris. doable. It's yeah, it's very doable. It's very doable, and he's the type of player that could do it. Uh, yeah, you know, so he's he's not. And the, the thing about what I like about Ovechkin over Crosby is he's not afraid to get dirty. Ovi will go in there and get dirty, where yes. Crosby's a little bitch and won't go in there and get dirty. Well, he does, and then he gets the, you know, the it's a bitch of the, league, I forget. the rest of the league, you know, they support the Penguins. They, you know, don't punish yeah. them as bad as everyone else gets punished. So. Right. All the Penguin fans out there listening, you know what I'm talking about. And don't lie and think that I'm not saying what I say. Right. I've heard NHL broadcasters say the same damn thing on every social media platform. Come on. So. Mm, a little Crosby, though. <laughs> I'm not a Crosby at all. So. For the longest time, Crosby was the biggest was the biggest name in hockey. Yes, it was. So. Yeah. I'm not a Crosby fan. I'm not a Malkin yeah. fan either. Yeah. I like Malkin a whole hell of a lot better than Crosby. I don't get like the one of them. Malkin is, um, you know, he's been sitting there long enough too, where he thinks he deserves to be the captain, and not till Crosby goes away is that going to happen. Yeah, yeah. So, it looks like the uh, Leafs are going to be going on a power play already. Mm. Like a hook. Yeah, it looks like a hook. Um, All right. Do you guys want to um, go in? I have a lot of golf stuff about the Masters. I know that was. Four. Two weeks away, or two weeks ago, the WWE. I've got some USC, XFL stuff like that. If you guys want to get into that, I don't know where you no, guys. I, are. Speaking of, I'm a right player. Um, I have NASCAR as well. I have the MLB, NHL, obviously. Uh, the MLB. XFL. MLB. Yeah. MLB. All right. The season is underway. What are we, 11 games, 12 games into the season? Depending on the schedule, because some haven't played, you know, because some got rained out or snowed out or whatever. And, right. You know, so depending on, depending on, you right. know. Right. Here, okay, so here, this is from MLB.com. These are the yes. biggest surprises for every um, N- MLB team so far this season. Mm-hmm. Early surprise. So I'm going to go down the list, right. see if you guys agree with these things. Starting in the American League East. Yep. Blue Jays. Uh, Alec Moana has taken it up a notch. The 24 so he's a pitcher. Uh, he has striking out 13 and 12 innings. I had a uh, Adam left there. We got to bring it back up. Um, Oreo of uh, the Orioles. A local kid is giving them a reason to cheer. Yeah. And, uh, um, Hang on a second. There we go. Give it two more weeks, they'll fall flat. <laughs> the Rays, uh, what is the world? What in the world has gotten into G Man Choi? He has got he's gone off. Choi's been going off for the, oh, for the Rays so far this season. Um, Red Sox, Michael Walker looks like the 2013 Michael Walker. Mm. Um uh, 
I'm actually going tomorrow night to watch the game with my boss, who's a Rays fan. I'm not going to Tropicana Field. We're going to a bar, but he's been inviting me out, so we're going to go watch the game together. Uh, the Yankees, the big bats are struggling. Is Do you agree not with that? Surprised. I'm not surprised. I mean, okay. it's been a bugaboo for the last couple of years. Is the big bats haven't been able to get going off the jump. No, I'm not surprised. Uh, I mean, even in the World Series years, they did not get up to good starts. So this doesn't well, surprise I mean, me at all. As long as you can stay 500 by the All Star break, yeah, really, yeah, really. As long as I'm 500 into June, I'm not really worried about it. But if I if I still can struggle when it gets hot, like, you know, baseball is a game that's best played. Well, no, remember, hot. remember, the Braves didn't get hot until like uh, August, and they still won the World Series. So right, right. If, you know, if, you're, if you're like under, if you're like under 10 games out before the All Star break, that's not a big deal. You know, if you're five games below 500. It, that's that's not a problem because you can yeah. start. You can you know, start below 500, less than ten games out. It's still man. No problem. No problem. It's been but, done. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a one at the um... Diamondbacks. Thank you, Arizona. They were like twenty five games behind at one point, weren't they? And yeah. They monster yeah. September, and then went twenty six and. Five or something like that. They won the World Series against my Yankees. Won it all. Much, yeah. We've seen it a lot. We've seen a lot in baseball. Baseball is such a streaky game. What you can't do is lose five or ten in a row. Not late in the season. Not no. Not no, no, no. Yeah, no. It's hard to make even seven. It's hard to make up a five or ten game losing skid at any point. True. As you put yourself so far behind. Been done. Been done. It can be done. It can be done, but once you start losing, once you've gone past five, eight, ten, fifteen games, and you start getting into record territory, mm. it just becomes so hard to recover from that. Right. Yeah. The AL Central. You have the Guardians. It says Steve Kwan, obviously, must be a hit as a hitter. Uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Swings. Yeah. Uh, the Royals. Bobby Witt Jr. isn't hitting. Uh, the That's Tiger, good. the kids are ready. That's what it says. Right, so. It's already okay. Um, the Twins, Carlos Correa can't get the engine started. Uh, mm. The White Sox, feeling. yep, uh, he is hitting one thirty three right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, it's not, that kind of feeds into well, it's Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Where's wait, Kirby Puckett wait, when you need him? Wait, let's see where everybody's at in June. In the middle of June, let's see where everything's at. And we'll, that's when we'll really determine comers and goers. Right. Because it's not hot yet. And baseball is a game best played when it's hot. Yes. When it's, well, you can, when it's 75, 80, 90 degrees out, and the sun is shining, nothing and better. the birds are singing. I was gonna say, ask the Rays that question. They were just in Chicago, and it was snowing in Wrigley Field. Yeah, right. snowing in Wrigley Field, snow for it. You know, right now it's, it's cold so and right it's now. miserable, and yeah. Um, it says the White Sox is Liam Hendricks all right? Their reliever. Uh, the West is the rotation looks passable for the Angels. I didn't know that Noah Syndergaard was an Angel. Well, I didn't know he in the Los Angeles. Um, the Astros, the offense is upside down. Wow, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, the A's, apparently, yeah, there, say. there are still some solid starting pitching left to trade for the Athletics. Uh, yes. the, the Mariners, uh, the Phenoms haven't hit their strides. Hmm. Uh, and the Rangers, so Marcus Simeon hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> Injuries it's are just so blank and early. It's early to, to it is so yeah. it's so early in the season that the, I'm not three weeks. Yeah, we're only three weeks into this season. Let's no, just hold off on pushing the panic button. No. And watch your team's like three and eighteen. I mean you should chill out. Right. And just take a breath. <laughs> and let's let it get warmer. By the middle of May, end of June, or beginning of June, yeah. that's when we can start to, to see. We'll see the wheat separated from the chaff. Exactly, the mental boys get separated June first. You know, 
basically, when I, I started yeah. thinking more of it when we get to like 50 games past the season, like Memorial Day weekend, because that's like the one quarter mark of the season. Yeah, yeah, the quarter that's point. When, that's when you start paying attention more to the standings and mm-hmm. see what you are. And you see, you like, see so, where, yeah, you see where, where guys have found their stick, you know. Right. It's so early, and we had a shortened training camp. We didn't have a full month of training camp. We had about a week. So Great. we're still about a month behind of where – and that's when we'll see, we'll see teams that started hot fall off. Fall off, and guys that were struggling early will catch up. Well, not for nothing, but I think, I think six weeks is too long of spring training anyway. I, I agree. I think it should be a month. Yeah. I think everybody should report March 1st. Yes. Does that everybody well, report? Where 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 it hurts is the pitchers. That's who get, that's who needs that time. Yeah. Position players don't need that time. That's just to get no. and all that stuff. But pitchers are the ones that need that time. Mm. You know. But then again, you know, they're mm. they're the ones you know who are gonna you know. What did you guys is I've and I've only seen I think one game where they've used that new pitching uh, thing where they, you know, the catcher tells the pitcher. Yeah. Yeah. I've only yeah. seen one game so far where that's happened. Yeah. Um, that's only, I, I've only seen one game where I noticed it. I think yeah. it's in all games. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't bother me at all. No. And next right. year, they're trying to use the pitch clock. Oh, boy. Are you guys – Are you guys? is it cool now to hear the umpires actually talk? Yeah. They up right. the umpires well, and- that depends. I mean, if you're going to call them a blankety blank blank, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think they just use the mic when they're doing replays and stuff like that. I yeah, mean, it's, it's that would be interesting call. to have a live mic when they're having a fight with a manager. That would be interesting, actually. Reminds me yeah. of a commercial I saw years ago. I've seen. Yeah, it's great when they when they're when the um are mic'd up and the um and they come out onto the field and have an argument. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a commercial years ago. They're arguing on the field and uh, the. It had nothing to do with the game, but they were just like uh, doing uh, ridiculous arguing. As we were arguing after, when the, when the players in the in the umpire's house, they're still arguing. You have only who you. Well, thank you very much. Oh, it's, it was for a beer commercial. It was hysterical. Oh, yeah, they were still griping. Welcome back home here. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, I, I, you know, um, yeah, it's too early for baseball. I mean, yeah. But- well, we so we we talk about this every every time the sports the, a sport comes back, right? Is it you know the first three weeks are just way too early to to tell? I mean, look at Carolina the Panthers the the football team. Mm-hmm. After three weeks, half of everybody wanted to put them in the Super Bowl. Sam mm-hmm. Darnold was a you know, yeah, it was Adam Gates yeah, and, and, and the Jets had ruined were the ones that had ruined Sam Darnold, and then. McCaffrey gets hurt and they fall apart. Mm. Yep. And so, now they're they have I think they have what I think they have two picks in the first yeah. round next week. Yeah. But you never know with an injury because that you know you know you're always thinking on paper, oh Carolina's gonna have this, but an injury can really set a team back. Yeah, and yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And I was just using that as an as an example to right, right, of course. Just supposed to be you know, you know, for want of an example of of why. In a, in a recent example, it's something that people can relate to, is why you don't put, why you don't get so, you don't get too hyped about the beginning of the season in any sport. You know, we're only three, in it, and baseball is such a slog. It's a grind. It's a day yeah. in, day out, all year grind. Absolutely. And it's going to be, it's gonna be a month or two. It's going to be a month or two before we have any a clear picture of what the. At least. Um, I just think there's How 100. Are shake out? More to go. There's 149 yeah. games more to go. <laughs> Give or take, yes. Give or take. So yeah, we still have we still have 50 games left before we have uh, before we're even down to 100 to go. So yeah, yeah. Exactly. long way to go. Exactly. Yep. Too long. So yeah, I mean, again, I, I kind of I agree with that. Speaking of that, guys, do you want to talk about uh, a sport that's in the playoffs? We could talk about the uh, NBA. We do NBA. Yeah, I'm watching a little bit basketball. Like I said, I love college, but I love man. Show this. I have to show this. What is this? I bet I know who that is. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Fifty and fifty-two at the All-Star break, and they won the World Series. Who's that? 
The Dodgers. No, I can't get that right. Yeah, I wonder who that could be. There's, there it is right there. There's the guy right there that it is. It's Kevin. It's Kevin Dixon. Thanks, That's Kevin. I was thinking, I was thinking it was uh, I was thinking it was somebody Ralph. else, though. Ralph. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Louis, I hate the Yankees. Yeah, I know. I know. It's actually Peyton. <laughs> Peyton Jones that said he hates the Yankees. Oh, it's Peyton Jones. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. What are you doing to me? I know, Peyton. Oh. I've seen I know. Uh, who's, who's, who's the what's up, guys? Who's that comment? That's Kevin Dix. Oh, Kevin, what's up, Thanks, man? Kevin. Kevin's the guy that got me started on this whole thing, so he's... And I've seen Peyton. Peyton's in a couple of uh, Facebook groups with me. They're not sure yeah, exactly. Yeah, Peyton, Peyton's, um, Peyton's a good college guy. He he has a lot of information. He's mm -hmm. a Tennessee Volunteer fan, too, on top of that. Oh, big time, big time. So, Kyrie Irving gives everyone the bird, gets fined 50 grand. Yep. But there's right. an article on Yahoo Sports that the, the, the drastic things between him and the Celtics is good for the NBA. Do you guys agree with that? Do you think that that's I've always – I've never bought into this idea that fights are bad for sports. Because no. all it does is keep people talking about you. Exactly. Right. It's a black eye for the sport. <laughs> it's uh, – yeah. But, you know, I'm not surprised by that because, you know – Whenever a player comes back, you know, from a team, you know, it can go. Sometimes, you know, they would cheer him on and they welcome back. Yeah. And sometimes like, get lost, you traitor. Why did you come back? Yeah. You know, so what do you expect when well, he was going to the bird? What do you expect? It's the playoffs, man. Everybody's yeah. on edge. The tensions are higher. Yeah. I would have given him the finger, too, and taken my fine and yeah. happily <laughs> fucked off into the sunset. So. <laughs> There you go. You can have two from me. Yeah. I mean, she you know, the bird. You know, I I don't find, but but then again, I'm not I'm not uber, I'm not religious. I'm not um you know, so I have no moral objections to the middle finger. Doesn't bother me at all. So, uh, you know, it's just you know because it offends other because it hurts your feelings. You know, so like yeah, you give me the finger, okay, whatever. Doesn't hurt my feelings. No. Mm -hmm. Good luck. You know, so so when somebody says that, you know, when they, you know, I understand, I understand it's a product. Yes. It's meant for, you know, it's meant to appeal to a mass audience, so both young and you know, kids and adults. Um, well, you know, you know, just, you know just, and, <laughs> the NBA has got to protect their image. Right. Well, we're going <laughs> and, with he he gassed he what the Celtics he he goes, he goes to, to the Celtics. Goes to Celtics. Mm. Okay. I can, I, well, you know, you just gotta do like what Taylor Swift did. She went to shake it off, shake it off. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, who sings I that? hope nobody saw that. <laughs> who, who, who Everybody that? saw it. It's gonna be on oh. YouTube later tonight. Hey, folks, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's gonna be on who YouTube sings? later tonight. Oh no. Who sings that? <laughs> who, who sings that again? Taylor yeah. Swift. My career is ruined, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah, just, just, oh. just let, just let her, just let her do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> My career was shot to hell. I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. Oh, so will John Moran uh, lose the Grizzlies to a series W over the Wolves? That's that's a good question. That's interesting, a good question. interesting series. I don't even know what that series is. Oh, uh, let me one see one. right now. I think it's one one. If it's a it one. should be. I uh, hear it is. Yeah, it's one one in that series. Memphis yeah, should series win that series, one. and they should win it going away. Yeah. Well, but I'm but, surprised though. Because you know, but they're I really getting thought, hammered right now. Yeah. Who's that? The Grizzlies or the T Wolves? Team uh the Grizzlies. It's 51 32 Oof. uh Wolves. Oof. Okay. Morant, what are you doing? No, I'm not I, I haven't watched a lot of anything other than what was on ESPN, you know, yes. ABC. Um, and occasionally flip a TNT game on. So I've watched a lot of the Warriors and, right, and right. a lot of the, um, of the Knicks and, and um, Celtics. So I don't really, I'm not really familiar with everybody on these teams. Uh -huh. but Memphis should, Memphis was the two seed in the, uh, yes, in the West. Memphis is they, two. Should, they should win this game, this series handily. But I mean, that's why I played the games. So what about the, the, the Suns? You know, they're quite a shot. 
Yeah. They're in trouble. They they had uh, who was it that um Booker Booker yeah. went down. Devin Booker. Yeah. yeah, Devin Booker. See what, I mean? See what I said before? One injury might be all it takes. Yeah. Can, no, absolutely. And I, Especially I if you're the best I player. Yeah. You know, this is what I think makes our show great over other shows. Yes. Is that you know we can have a conversation, we can agree with each other. We don't just have to constantly take the you know the contrary position, you know. Right. That's what I love about listening to our show, and I, I do I do listen to our show pretty much at least once a week. You know, I'll go back and I'll listen to the show from the last week, and it's a lot of fun to me to you know the the inanity that we get up to, but you know the the conversations that we do have and we're we're, we're talking things and. And the fact that we can, you know, agree with each other. We don't just have to, like, like whether, you know, when you watch TV and you see all these guys on TV and you've got left guy that's got to say A and right guy that's got to say B and they can't and they've got to take contrary predict positions. Yeah. And, and to me, that's just irritating. That's why I love doing the show with you guys. Yeah, we're not like, we're not like the free game shows, are we? I was thinking that the, the Monday morning ch- chat shows. Oh, I was thinking NFL Sunday. Sorry. Mm. Are there any? Are there are there any series that, that surprised you so far? This Boston one? being up two games to none, or Falcon one to one with the Suns, or that is surprising. That, yeah, yeah. They give a Booker out, maybe not. You know, no, it's Booker. Yeah, I think I think the biggest the biggest surprise right now is Booker being out. Yeah, yeah. Philly you know, Toronto, think- no. No, I kind of thought Philly's going to take that. Yeah, Philly's up three games to none over. Toronto. Yeah, I mean, you know, over. put that yeah, in on the top. I had Philly when when that one going away. Okay, I'm very disappointed though in the Celtics and uh, Nets. Now, I did say the Celtics were going to win, but I thought the Nets would be able to put up a fight. I mean, they had it. They had it last night. The first t- the first the home home the home the out, and then they just <sighs> in the second half. Well, I mean, it wasn't. It was a great game. It's a great effort by Boston to come all the way back. And yeah. Not, not, yes. not to take anything away from this, from the, from the, um, the yes. they played a great basketball game. Just, just the, uh, the Celtics were just a bit better last night. I don't really think that, I, I really don't think that what, what I saw, and I kind of fell asleep and was getting in and out of it. And maybe you have a different perspective. Um, uh, oh, but no. I think that, um, I thought that, uh, the, the um the, the Nets played a spirited game, and I thought that Boston was just better down the stretch. I didn't really think they, they were. Uh, I didn't really think that. I thought that Bell, Boston took it away from the the Celtics more than the or uh, Boston took it away from the Nets more than the Nets gave it away. Mm. But that's what I saw. I kind of thought the Nets gave it away. They had it. They had it on the, on the ropes, and then Boston just fired right back. And you know, I just think, just made I just think that Boston, off. they were. They were never really able to put Boston away. Boston kept no. coming and kept coming and kept coming. Yeah. Are you guys surprised that Miami's up two games to none over Atlanta? No, no, of course not. Over who? Atlanta. No, not at all. No, Trey Young is not the Trey Young of last year. Not at all. He needs help. Yeah, he does need help. They don't. He needs I don't another think guy. He needs Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. He needs a. He needs a center. I know. I know the other the other um, game tonight was uh, Utah and Dallas was one of the games that was going on this evening. Let me see something here. All right, there we go. Yeah, fifty one thirty nine T Wolves over Grizzlies with three oh one left in the first half. Jazz and the Mavericks tip off at nine. Yeah, and the Nuggets and the Warriors tip off at ten. With uh, Golden State up two games to none in that series, but who's who is out for? Um, is it now? It's Dallas that's out, right? He's the yeah. Trey Young is still bored. Yeah, <laughs> Luca, Luca's out, right? Yeah. For the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right then. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the, the playoffs are you know and then in the, round the Bulls and. Uh, who are they playing? The Yucks. Bucks. The, uh, yeah, and it, that's tied at one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, Chicago well, I, won the other day, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they won last night. I, I see them giving. I see them giving. Um, God. The Bucks fits for the rest of the series. Yes. And it's single digits. Oh, now it's single digits. 
Uh, 51-44. Ah, nice. Down seven. Yep. Well, I have to play that. Yeah, I, I turned it on. It was like a 20-point game. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, basketball crazy. Whoever Hulu is down. I don't know. Oh, who. Made that comment. I have I have cable. So I'm yeah, me too. I, I'm yeah yeah I'm a cable. Yeah, so do I. I don't like Hulu. <laughs> I I don't. No offense. I don't just I just have enough streaming services as it is. I mean. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't know this. I didn't know Middleton was done for the season. That's gonna hurt. I didn't hear that. Uh, no. uh, that'll hurt. Me. That'll okay, hurt. That's, that's a, they didn't know what to do with Milton, but now they thought it was gonna. They were trying to work on a timeline, saying like two to three weeks now. But okay, this is gonna this is gonna be a big impact. Oh yeah, no, he yeah, he's done for the series. That's what the oh okay, series okay. The, done for the series or done for the season because that's what it looked yeah, like. He, he, he said he said series, so obviously he's out for. Okay, the series, yeah, I get he's that. Really I'm the season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's a no problem. Well, yeah, he's that's done for at least. The, yeah, he's yeah. done for at least the, the rest of the series and right. possibly longer. Uh, right. You don't want to get hurt during playoffs. No, man. Especially, no. When you're top, especially when you're the favorite team. Yeah. To repeat, because they, they would be. Back to back from Milwaukee this year, if, if they were able to win it again, I wasn't thinking that was going to happen. The it's, it's too tough to do, especially in the NBA. It really is. It really is. I didn't think they were going to go back to back. So you're not, you're not the Bulls of the nineties. You're not the Lakers of the eighties and whatnot. So uh, you know, yeah. The especially when it took you half a century to do it. Well, you could say that you could say the Lakers in the two thousands too with Kobe and Shaq. Yeah, yeah they won multiple That's titles. Three in a row. But then again, like you said, there's the, the it's hard to do. It's hard to repeat as mm-hmm. champions, you know. It really is. It's it's so hard. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to, I know NASCAR just finished up in Bristol, and now they are on to Talladega. Uh, this week. Yeah. Am I correct on that? I think I saw yeah. that this week yep. for schedule. Yeah, they were they were they were on uh, the dirt. Last week at Bristol, right? Am I right? Is that Bristol, or Bristol, Tennessee? Yep. Bristol, Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, I, that that. Yeah, that it's it's yeah. Bristol, baby. Um, but then again, Talladega is a a uh, restrictor plate race, right? Yep. Restrictor plate. Yep. Reddick should have won again. This is. I don't. I don't like dirt racing, so I really and I was busy last weekend. I was out with friends, and so I really didn't watch the race. Reddick's gonna get a win, likely. I I they uh, I know like I said, Talladega is like Daytona, restrictor track. Yep. Okay. So it's gonna be it's more. Yep, yeah, that's gonna say it's more wide open, and it's yeah. I was gonna say crapshoot would be right. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah, yeah. There, there's not, there's, there's a skill that goes into running a restrictor play race. You have to be talented. You have to know what you're doing. But there's a whole lot of luck that goes to be goes into being skilled at restrictor play racing. Mm-hmm. So, as as much. As as much skill as it goes into it, there's just as much luck, and it's and it's missing the big one. It's missing the big one. It's missing the big one. That's that's really, mm. you know, <laughs> it, it, it's having a well a, a good handling can, handling race car that you can take anywhere. And I'm curious to see how this how Talladega races versus Daytona, and mm. you know Talladega being a playoff race. And, and setting it, you know, and and later on in the season, where you know it, you're going to want to know how your car reacts and how your car handles, and getting ready for a playoff playoff race later on yeah. in the year yeah. is that is so yeah. important. Yeah. Um, the fans want to know what the big one is. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to succinctly describe it. It's a 
large mountain car pileup that generally takes between 8 and 15 cars out in a single incident. Translation, train wreck. Right. Yeah, yeah, essentially. <laughs> train wreck. Yeah, train wreck, correct. Exactly. It's, it's a good way to put it. Yeah. Good way to put it. Um, and it's the one, it's the thing that you worry about when you're, when you're restricted playing racing. Hmm. And pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and even even then, it does, they're not coming back in one piece. Yeah. So checkers, checkers or records, as it were. Mm hmm. Huh. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't know what this is, but we have a question. Yeah. So the question is, please ask. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what the question is. Mm -hmm. The question is, why am I getting so many email updates? <laughs> By the way, whoever's out there listening on Facebook, if you want to come on this show right now, let me know and I'll send you the link. Yeah. Anybody out there that wants to come on, you can come on and talk to us live if you want. It's up to you guys. You don't have to, but the option is there. We yeah, welcome definitely. you. Take your poison. Here we go. This is an NFL question, guys. Okay. Are you talking regular season or postseason that they're going to do? Isn't it both? Isn't it? Isn't it? No, I think it's, I think it's a, regular season going to keep the overtime rules as is. The, okay. The overtime is the uh, change the overtime rule because uh, – you know, of the, 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 con the controversy uh, that took place. Last there it is right Most there. Dumb, dumb. Love it. It's great. I don't think it's a stupid idea. Most teams should get a possession. <laughs> it changes, it changes, it makes the, it does, it changes strategy. It makes, it gives so much, many, so many different options. I think it's great. <laughs> and if you don't like it, win it in regular, win it in regulation. You know, it gives you know, it, it it makes you have to decide what you're gonna do. Are you gonna take the ball? Do you want to? You know, what's the weather doing? Is it bad weather? Is it good weather? Are we kicking? Are we? Um, which which end of the field do we want to defend? Do we want to go on offense, try to score that touchdown, and force the other team to have to go? I mean, I want to play the whole field. I because hate the overtime rules in that regard. Oh, uh, that's dumb. That is a stupid. That is a stupid rule. And I hate and I hate the two point yeah. after two overtimes. That's not football. That's a well, they, want, they don't want it to go to like say seven or eight overtimes. You know, wear the players out. So I, I get that. You know, you want to try didn't, to win. Then just a few years ago, they had like a fifteen overtime game, Texas A and M against LSU. I th thought it was who that's who it was right. a few years ago. Yeah, like, I mean, if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think it's who it was. It was seven or eight. I, yeah. I want to agree with Lewis. They was eight. LSU was, and that's too much. That's too much. And you're worrying, yeah. you're worrying about, you know. There it is. Okay. You yeah, need to try to go for the win, not to keep trying to tie it up. There, oh, there's seven overtimes. I apologize. Seven. I was close. I was close. 54 yeah, 52. Yeah. But that record was broken this, uh, this last season when we went to nine. Yeah. Nine two point tries. That's the, uh, ridiculous. That, that, there, that's why they. That, there it is, right there. That caused the rule. That's yeah. the reason that. That was a couple crazy. years ago. Yeah. I don't like it. That's the reason that that rule is yeah. in place. Well, we can we can do NHL and then the NFL and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Usually uh, what we. We can go ahead and start by you know sending our. Thoughts and prayers to the family of Mike Bossy, a, yes. a legend, a legend, part of the four yeah. straight Stanley Cups. I the remember that. Actors, um, definitely. Um, I want to say I, I heard Bobby the Chief Taylor, who's an analyst for the Lightning here on my local station here in Tampa, talk about how great Mike Bossy was as a human what? being. As you know, when he came into the, you know, came in as a uh, as a rookie. 
stuff like that. It was it was great to see. Uh, it's it's very sad. And again, very young, you know, being at sixty five, that's young. I'm sorry. I you know people say, "Oh, that's not young." Sixty five is young. My mom died at sixty four, so that's young. Let me just say that the sixties. It's being, not old. I mean, it's not young, but it's not old. Correct. No. Correct. No. It's not like dying at twenty four, but it's also not dying at eighty five. Right. Correct. Right. But he had uh, he had uh, health conditions, so uh, Long yeah. cancer, if I'm not mistaken. We're now with the with the NHL. About what are we? Five, four games left. Five games four left. Six games, depending on depending the regular season. Four to six. Some some games, some teams have a few couple have more than others left. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Like I said, I'm watching the uh, yeah, that's what I got on being uh, Maple Leafs game now on ESPN. Yeah, Toronto I know, and Tampa I, know, Bay. I know the Wings are playing the Panthers right now. Yeah, down in Sunrise. Yeah, yeah, it was four to two Tampa or Carolina last night or Carol what the hell am I talking about? Four to two Florida. Florida. Yeah. Matthews, Doctor Matthews. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing, but the uh, Leafs are getting ready to go on a power play again. There's only six seconds left in the first period. Yeah. There's the hook and call on Victor Hedman. Let's see what else I had up here for hockey as well. I know the Mike Bossy was definitely yeah the top yeah. topic we were going to talk about with the National you know, Hockey it's not like, League. You know, uh, you know, Losing someone at 65 is you know, at 65, people can still be really healthy, yes, right. And you know, it's not like losing mm -hmm. someone at 85 or 90 when no. they're when they're falling apart. Mm -hmm. But when you take a lot of beatings in your career, I mean, it does kind of you know, yeah, carry on. And, when, and he was a real heavy smoker, too. That, yeah, I think it was lung cancer actually. That, um, yeah, it was. If I'm, I want to say. I want to say that's what I read too. So here, here, guys, is it? Here's a, here's a tweet, guys, from the uh, NHL Public Relations Twitter page. Ooh. This was this past. This was the highest, um, the highest scoring weekend in NHL history. Concluded with 153 goals, 102 yeah, on, wow. on Sunday, and boosted the goals per game rate to 6.3 on the season. It's been 26 years since the season has ended with a scoring rate as high as 6.3 which was the 95-96 season. And here were the results from those games. 6-1 to one, Florida over uh, Detroit. 5-3 to three, Buffalo over Philadelphia. St. Louis won 8-3 to three over Nashville. Minnesota uh, won 5-4 to four over San Jose. The Leafs won 4-2 to two over the Islanders. And the Ducks beat the Jackets 6-4. to four. So that was a lot of goals. A couple of goals, couple um, games in there. I just want to address the, the question that – We'll, we'll get to all your NFL comments, concerns, and questions here in about 10 minutes. Give us 10 minutes, and we'll address all of your NFL concerns. We'll give you the world. Because that's what we usually do is we dedicate the last hour of the show to the to football. So we will address yes. all of your – Kind of unusual that was the highest – NFL questions come with Because in, um, in the 96 playoffs, uh, there were four games that went – you know, multiple overtimes. There was four games that went to three, and there was one game that went four. So it's kind of surprising how they um, had the uh, scoring uh, average up in that season because the playoff time was, you know, a lot more of those over overtime games, which were. Oh boy. I was gonna. I think. I think it was regular season scoring. The highest been regular season scoring has been since ninety five, ninety six. Yeah. I. Uh, it's it's weird to think about the fact that the, that scoring is just now getting back to where it was in the mid nineties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I, I miss I miss the way the game used to be played. I wish they would get I wish they would let them hook and hold. No, not crazy. Not crazy. You can't haul a guy down. But to put your arm on somebody to go to get leverage. Mm. There's a lot of those hooking and holding things that I wish they would just let go for, for the sake of play. I think that it makes it so hard to actually get a flow going. Yes. Like every two minutes, you're getting somebody's getting 
a penalty. Mm -hmm. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather let a little bit more of that hooking and holding go to improve pace of play and the flow flow of play. What do you? What are your guys' thoughts? Well, I mean, I, I again, seeing seeing all these goals scored is great for the game. Number one, it is. I mean, obviously, great for that. But I do agree with you. But I think they should go back again at the end of the day. You know, it's a game. It's plain and simple. Right. I know they get paid millions of dollars to play a game as they do in baseball as well, in basketball, and all that as well. But they they should let them play. You know, th- this crap with yeah. right. calling penalties to do what? To to have more power plays? Okay, well, that leads to more goal scoring too. Yes. The, sometimes, I mean, sometimes teams go 0 for 5 on power plays. Yes, the team, a lot yeah, of so it just depends. It just depends on that. Yeah, and for me, That's I my don't opinion. think – I don't think it improves the it improves the game all that much to have each team having ten or sixteen. Ooh. Each team right. having five or six power plays. Yeah. Yes. I I want to I want to address that comment there. I yeah. think I think defense is the most underrated part of sports in any league. Yep. Yeah. I think that I think the ability to play good defense and not you know, I think a good defense give me a good offense and a good defense over an elite of either one and poor on the other side. I'd rather have complementary, if you want of a better term, complementary football. I want my you know I want to have a good defense and a good offense. So if my offense is struggling, my defense picks them up, and my defense is struggling, my offense picks them up. I, I think hmm. I think that it's not so much that you can't play defense as that defense isn't exciting. Yeah. No one wants to watch seven to ten. A seven to ten punt fest where No, no. There's no. a difference between good That's defense and bad offense. If you miss that if you if you go if you have twenty five shot attempts but fifteen miss the net, that's not that's not good defense. That's bad offense. Yes. And I, I think that, you know, a great defensive play, you know, where you know, what's a great defensive play in hockey? Breaking up a rush on the at the at your at your blue line? Mm. It doesn't yeah. make sports center. No. no. You know, what's a great defensive play in football? Stopping a guy on second and six and then having an incompletion on third down and forcing a punt. That 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 stopping the running back on second down, that doesn't make Sports Center. You know, what no. makes Sports Center is big hits, mm-hmm. um, and and interceptions. You know, a, a great a catch at the wall. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, if somebody goes in dead straightaway center field, four hundred ten ten yards to, to straightaway center field at at Comerica, and he and he climbs the wall. Man, how many times did I watch Tory Hunter in the Metrodome climb the wall and bring homers back? I mean, is that good defense or is that just freak skill? And and what what is good defense anymore? Uh, you know, defense wins championships. Offense sells tickets. Yes. Yep. That's correct. That's correct. I know he was still Espe- especially in the NHL when you have. If you get a hot goaltender, I don't care how many goals you score. If you keep the puck out of the damn net, you're not winning games. They're not winning games. No. The team that yeah. has the hot goalie will win. How many times? I mean, Nikolai Javi Boone stood on his head yeah. for four straight series in 04. Right. We won the cup. Mike Richter in 94. Thank Correct. you. Um, the save Mike around Richter in 97. Yep. I was good in 98. I, was good. Yes. I mean, you know, look at all the guys that weren't household names and that won titles in yep. that. And then how many guys, how many of those guys had great defenses in front of them? Or, or uh, Guy Hebert in, uh, not Guy Hebert, sorry, Sebastian. For Cali Yang? Hmm, there you go. Yeah, right. Back at Rennes. Yep. I mean, Thomas Falcon was great, but. How many years did Volkun 
How many years did Bob Coon stand on his head and throughout the regular season and nothing left of a playoff? Yeah. And they lose two one. He'd make he'd make thirty eight saves and they lose two one. Yeah. Well, I mean that's that that's the thing right there. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, it doesn't matter if you get a hot goaltender. It, it you know again, hopefully you don't run out of gas. I think with the Lightning mm-hmm. right now, that might be they're resting problem. Vasilevsky. You know, be well, he's starting tonight, but I think they have six games left, and he was going to sit three of those six because they right. think he and he does. He does not look right. As a Lightning fan, I can say that I. I'm a little concerned. I don't think if they play the Leafs in the first round, they may get through round one, but they're not going to get past Florida with the way they're playing right now. Ain't happening, Captain. That's not going to happen. Florida is too good of a team. They score way too many goals. They lead the league in goals as we speak. They score goals in bunches. They can come back down from four goals down. And, you know, they, you know, that that's the team right now that is dangerous. But on the flip side for Florida, they give up a lot of goals, too, because they don't play defense. So, you get into a firefight with them. We'll see if their team can stand up to and them. And that's what I, that's what I was saying about when we, when we yeah. kicked the show off, is that everything is different in the playoffs. Right. A lot more, like like I was saying when we opened this segment, mm-hmm. is there a lot more of that, the, the hooking and holding and the and the clutching and grabbing gets let go in the playoffs. Stuff that right. was getting, stuff that gets called in game 18, is getting let go in game three of a playoff series. Correct. Yes. Because the stakes are higher and you don't want to be the ref that makes that has to make that call. Yeah. And so a lot more stuff gets let go. Correct. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, 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 and uh, you know, it obviously really, if you think about it, it should be that way. Yes. It should be. I mean, it should be that way, period, but that's what you can't. It should be that way overall. It, I, I, oh, I agree. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even know that. Uh, right in point wasn't playing tonight. Mm. <laughs> mm. Out. Um, but yeah, I mean that's at the end of the day. I if you get a hot goaltender and they and they don't have to do too much, yep. they can allow one goal and you can get two or three. You have a shot of yep. winning. Plain and simple. That's that's yep. the way it goes. I mean. Um, yeah. um, I mean, you know, going back to that night, going back to the old foreigner series with um, Calgary and uh, Tampa Bay, both goalies were on fire. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. With um, who was Kippersoff. the other? Kippersoff. Kippersoff. Yeah, Kippersoff. Yep. Kippersoff. Mm-hmm. I, I had it and I lost it and I got it back. You know, I was just going to say, I was just going to, I was fixing to say Kippersoff and I lost it as I was letting you finish. And then you were like, what was his name? And I was like, Kippersoff. I, I just remembered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he was an absolute buzz song in. In 04. Stood yep. on his absolute head. I mean, and look at the great goalies that never won one. Ron Hextall never won one. And Hextall was a beast for so many years. How about Eddie? Did Eddie Belfour ever win one? The Eagle? Eddie won a couple. Yeah. A couple? Okay. I mean, he was a goalie of record in Dallas in 99. Is that the crease goal against the Sabres? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. And of course, he was trigger- cursing in Czechoslovakia in, in, a, yeah. in the end of the third overtime. Like, and it was like, go oh, home, no, we're done, we're done. I haven't had any. He, yeah. he was in cursing in languages that haven't hadn't even been invented yet. Yes, yes. <laughs> I saw it, I saw it because I was in a bar in Morristown when it happened. I mean, yeah. As the lights went on the bar, that's when the goal was scored. Mm. <laughs> oh boy, it was gone, it was over. Oh. <laughs> um. Gary Price hasn't won one. Lundqvist never won one. No. Um, uh, Pecorini never won one. No. Um, Curtis Joseph never won one. I mean, you look at him. Forget about him. Great goals. Yeah. Exactly. Great goals. Yeah. But, I mean, Tom Barrasso won a pair. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 90, 92, 91, 92. Pittsburgh. And, yeah, there's there's been a lot of them, a lot of goals. Just like just like with with quarterbacks too, that have never yeah. won. That should yeah. have won one. You know, uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, so we can go to the NFL if you guys want. The question. Let me let me post the question that they wanted. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, to yeah, ask sure. it's this question right here.
Which version? Mm. AJ Brown or Debo Samuel? Samuel. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, tough one. G J. Okay, let me see. I think I think Brown's a better receiver, but um, Debo gives you more options. Yeah, I'll go with that. As a pure receiver, if I'm looking for a receiver, receiver, I want I want Brown. Right. But if I'm looking, if I'm looking to be creative and, and and innovative with my offense, or if I have an offense, you know, if I have a an offense that's um, capable of doing, of being creative with, if you know, like you know, Green Bay, you know, with Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is such a weapon in and of himself to give him a weapon like Debo Samuel. Yeah, yeah, give me Debo over over AJ Brown. Yeah. Um, but if I have like like Tom Brady would be better with I think Brown would be a better fit in Tampa than Samuels would be in in Tampa because of just the way that they play offense down in Tampa. I I'm not, if you want to go with that, I don't think the the Bucks have the cap space to to sign. Uh, no, no, just for a one of an example. I, I just, of yeah, because well, again, here's the question too. The magic question is when Tom leaves, and that's probably going to be after this year for good. He's not going to come back. Good. Then where do the Bucks go? Because yeah. he just signed, you know, um, uh, with the, the kid from uh, Atlanta, Russell Gage. You, they just signed Ooh. him. They're not going to have Godwin because he's at surgery. So you're going to have Evans and him. You'll probably have Scotty Miller. They don't know if Gronk's coming back quite yet. That that hasn't surfaced yet. Um, right. But he said he only, for the Bucks. he only played for the Bucks. That's what he said. So he's not going to sign anywhere else. Um, right. With that in mind. Also, guys, b- before, too, we get into more NFL talk, also extend thoughts and prayers out to the family of Dwayne Haskins as well. Yeah, um, definitely. I got to listen to some of the 911 calls. That's some scary, scary stuff, guys. Let me tell I you, couldn't, I couldn't do it. How scary those calls are to his girlfriend or his wife. How scary yeah, it is yeah, to yeah. have a nine one one operator call you directly and tell you that your significant other has been killed in a car accident. I mean, how yeah. hard that has to be for a, for a single person to have to do that. Um, but yeah, yeah I mean, um. You know, if you guys, if you guys do not know, Dwayne Haskins was killed in Miami in a car accident. Um, he was going to get gas for his car, and yeah. I guess he told his wife that he was going. He left the car, he was going, and he got hit at six a.m. on a freeway in South Florida. Um, but again, he was currently getting ready to play with the Steelers. Right? That that's who yeah. he was. Right. He was down in the, he was down in the T- Tampa Bay area. Training with some of the some of the Steelers. Yeah. So that is that. So again, uh, thoughts and prayers to the Bossy family. Thoughts and prayers also to the Haskins family as well. Um, we don't yeah. like to to talk about stuff like that. It's it, it, it's hard to to discuss stuff yeah. like that. But it's part of the of our you know what we do. It's part of our job. Part of our hobby that we do. We love. Okay. We also have to report the bad stuff. Along with all the good stuff, yeah. Obviously, you know we yeah. are one, yeah. one week away from the draft, so next week, guys, we'll be sitting and watching and hearing that do 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 all night long. <laughs> the pick is in. The pick is in. Yeah, we'll find out. How many out. times will Goodell yeah. be this year? <laughs> I don't think we're going to go through the whole thing this year. So. Right, right. Ugh. But what I was going to say is that, you know, as much as we hate to report the bad news, I even says on my show, but nevertheless, as reporters, it is our duty to, you know, bring it, even though, it, you know, it is, you yeah. know, a sad, yeah. a sad statement, but it, it, must be, it must be told. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to call it always sound like the Grim Reaper, but, you know, there are things that you know that you have to that you have to bring up, no matter how painful it is. Yeah, great. Yeah. That is true. That is very very true. Um, I I have a bunch of uh, <laughs> interesting stuff talking about Brett Favre being a world class dirtbag. That was something that was brought really? up 
Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, that Aaron Rodgers is selfish. We, I well, think we all knew that. Uh, that's not, yeah. That the Cleveland Browns are being investigated for um, losing on tanking. Tanking mm-hmm. out. Yeah, intentionally losing, yeah. yeah. The Washington Commanders are facing financial conduct allegations. Yep. Another thing for, for Daniel Snyder to win another award for. <laughs> if he's not always the worst owner in all of pro sports. Oh, yeah. God. He's so yeah, I mean, and then, of course, then the other rumor is Tom Brady uh, hasn't had discuss or they Jason Light went on in his press conference saying that he did not hear anything about Tom Brady's ownership with the Miami Dolphins and him uh, going down there wow. and Sean Payton being the coach and, you know, that stuff. That was the news that came out. But it's, yeah. you know, I mean, Tom might go down there next year. How do we know that? How do you know that that's not his plan to go down to Miami? He bought a house down there, so who knows? I don't know. Just yeah, I don't know. Just saying. But that's that. not a clue. I don't know what is. I mean, this. I mean, we. I think we all know Aaron Rodgers is selfish. Obviously, if you look yes. at the team that <laughs> he, you know, played around with the Packers. I think I'm going to leave. He gets his contract extension, and then everybody leaves. You lose. Yeah. The biggest weapon you have in Devonte Adams going to the Raiders because Adams doesn't want to play in Green Bay anymore. Correct. Underwater. Hmm. So, you guys want to talk about the tanking thing with Hugh Jackson sure. and the Browns? Yeah, sure. That was that was Yahoo Sports. Let me bring the article up real quick. If you guys want here, I'll just better yet. Yeah. Why don't I just do this? Why don't I just share the okay. screen and sure, you guys can go ahead and. And read what is here. Hang on just a second. I'm going to go look at this. Let me see here. Hang on just a second. Let me bring it up. Okay. Come on. Come on. This mm. one right here. The sure. Browns lost on purpose? Oh, let me show. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The screen comes up here. Hang on just a second. Yep. Uh, I've had that problem too. That's why I don't do that stuff. We don't have the big money. Uh, we, don't, we don't have ESPN's big money, so we have to wait for the internet to catch up. <laughs> right. Correct. Okay. So this is kind of the, the gist of it. It says the NHL mm-hmm. and the NHL. The NFL is officially investigating the Browns. After allegations, the organization pushed former head coach Hugh Jackson to purposely lose games. So there you go with that. I'm not surprised. No, nah, yeah, my. I mean, they were so spectacularly bad that it does that I'm not. I mean, hmm. they're, I guess they're, the they're, they're so, they were so incompetent. Mm-hmm. Then, it, then I'm not surprised that they didn't. Right. Well, I mean, here's the thing. They're doing the investigation. And let's say that the investigation does find out that they did tank on purpose. What are they going to do? Take draft picks away from them? You're not going to take wins. Yeah. You're not going to take wins away because they didn't win that many games. So how what are you how are you gonna punish them? You're gonna take away draft from them by the organization? Okay. They're already, you know, they they, they went yeah. ahead and what? Yeah, they're John Watson to a to a huge contract, the biggest, you know, one of the biggest for a quarterback. <laughs> and the funny thing is the cross town team five years two points. The cross town team got the got the better of the deal because they got to the Super Bowl last year in the, right. the Bengals. So you know, I mean, we'll see how the Browns do this year, you know, with uh, Deshaun Watson right. at the helm, you know, and maybe it'll get better this year. Baker Mayfield is still out there. You know, he's still out at, yeah. you know, I've been hearing Carolina. That's that's the team that I've I've heard, you know, the most. Yeah, I've heard that too. Him going to Carolina, um, which would be yeah, kind of interesting. I mean, he plays too, the Bucks but... twice a, he plays the Bucks twice a year. So right. that would be interesting. Mm. Now Pittsburgh may be in the running for him. Yeah. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Well, because they got it. I mean, they who's the, who's the starter? Mason Rudolph is that who's going to start? Yeah. yeah. Probably. Or do you think? Or do you think the Steelers will draft a quarterback? They yeah. may draft a kid. I mean, they may. Maybe he's available. They may draft um, Malik Jackson. That's what amazing. about um? Who's the kid from Pitt? That's uh up this year for. Uh, the draft from uh, Pittsburgh University, the Panthers. Yeah, Kyle Pickett, I think is his name. Yeah, Pickett. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's possible he could land a hometown boy landing. With this, I don't know if they'll do that. I mean, they didn't. They didn't do that for Marino. So, no. <laughs> well, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't need a quarterback. I don't remember was Rex still there in eighty four, eighty three. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure who was at the helm when that draft happened. No. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, yep. But again, you know, next week the the Jaguars have the number one overall pick, so we'll mm-hmm. see how how they go with that one. <laughs> Who they yeah. pick? I think it's foregone conclusion. It's going to be Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan. That would be the smart move. I mean, I would think somebody that's really oh, interested. Yeah. I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing them taking an offensive lineman is what I've been hearing. Okay, offensive line. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised that either. either no, way. I wouldn't be surprised with that either. Them taking an offensive lineman and uh, what I'm hearing is that they're going to go offensive line, and the Lions are going to take um. Argentine at two. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That'll definitely help the defense in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll definitely definitely help the the defense. Um, again, you know, we'll see next week because again, mm-hmm. next what's the draft start at eight o'clock, right? Next week. Is that yeah. yeah. Just as soon as we go on the air. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do. And you know, we oh right, we're up one nothing. There we go. I just turned the game back on. We're up one nothing. Nice. Um. <clears throat> we'll say this guys next week we'll watch as much of it and as soon as we get to the point where we're tired we're gonna jump off because last year we watched the whole first round and the three of us were all beat let me just say that right now wow. the first one is, the first one is, the first one is zone out it's over yeah 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 um yeah. Yeah. we may have through the first 15 picks and stop yeah. at pick 15 so yeah just depends yeah. <laughs> you know, the only thing that lasted longer than a sudden death overtime hockey game was that. Yeah, correct. Correct. Yes. <laughs> or Titanic is entirety. Mm. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I, you know what? I speaking of the Titanic, I watched a um 3D, one of the one of the more popular YouTubers, Jack Septic I. I'm sure you know if you know a YouTube, you know who he I is. Know. Yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, he did a um, he did a uh, virtual, you know, the virtual goggle thing. Yeah, and it was a simulator of the Titanic sinking and mm-hmm. watching the ship sink. He go, I, I if you want to see something really scary? Wow. Go watch that video. Have that video played out. But yeah, the yeah. Titanic sinking, <laughs> the unsinkable yeah. ship, because that's right. what it was called, the unsinkable ship. Unsinkable. So it mashed into a iceberg. You know. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, guys, we, if you want to, we can go right. we can golf or WWE or I have a lot of uh, other the stuff. Masters. We can, the Masters. The Masters. Talk yeah. about Mr. Scotty Chef for winning the match. Born in Jersey. Yes, and he's uh, I think he's what? One of four? I think he's got one brother and two sisters, if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. uh, from what they said over the weekend. But yeah. Scotty Scheffler did win the Masters two weeks ago. And if you watch the final hole, mm-hmm. his hand was shaking over that putt. He, yeah. his hands yeah. were shaking. He, he got was four shot. He, he went four putt uh, on the final hole. Yeah, he was nervous. He was shaking. Yeah, was a little bit of shaking. Which, sure. you know what? I'd be doing the same damn thing. I, I don't yeah. care. I'd be doing the same damn thing, shaking okay. and, and stuff. So I'm curious. I'm sweating. As we all are once they win, 
what's the champion dinner going to be next year? I know. Really? I can't wait now. About that. To see, yeah. um, you know, who does that. But speaking of that, um, Tiger Woods has already said he was going to play at the Open Championship. But okay. I just uh, found out earlier this week that both him and Phil have applied for entry to the U.S. Open. So that means the only major that Tiger will not be in this year is possibly the PGA, which is next month. Um, but yeah, I mean, if he plays at the U.S. Open, the Brit the Open Championship or British Open, as it's called in some terms, is at St Andrews. And by the way, in 2015, he won that tournament. Just saying. All right. <laughs> so um, it, it well, would be interesting to see him win again if that's the case. You know. Well. It, de- it depends. I mean, he was doing fine in his first two rounds, but I think the injuries were catching up with them. I played a part of him in the third round, and that's how he lost it. I didn't think he was going to win, but I thought he was maybe going to make it very competitive heading into the later rounds. But once he's yeah, he 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 well, honestly, I didn't know how he was going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, just to get back and play 72 holes over the weekend was incredible. No question about that. Yeah, I, 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 was really, really, I was really impressed with the fact that he was able to just come back, you know, regardless of how he finished. And I know, he, you know, it, wouldn't, it wasn't a spectacular, you know, red J. It wasn't a red, it wasn't a red, red polo Sunday, but just the fact that he was playing on Sunday again was incredible. Well, I mean, I think, I think, I mean, me personally, because I'm, you know, I've been playing the game since I was five. I thought it was awesome to see him make the cut. Uh, right. if, if he had somehow been in contention on the weekend, even if oh, it was yeah. just a little while, and say he would have won the one, uh, let's just say that he would have won the Masters, you can't tell me that's not the greatest comeback story ever, ever. Hey, if, he'd, if he'd have come back and done it. Now, we I, don't, know. I have to ask you two guys this question. If he wins at the U.S. Open or the British Open, is that a comeback? Depending oh, yeah. after he got hurt. Okay. Oh, of course. If he can come back and win one, yeah, it's incredible. I mean, come that's – who – let me – hold on just a sec. I know the Open Championship is at um, St. Andrews. Yes. Where is the U.S. Open this year? Where is the U.S. Open? It is at Brookline. In Massachusetts, it's the country. My mass. Okay, so it's in Brookline. Um, I've heard of it. Golf course. That's a tough golf course. One of the toughest. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I was really, really excited to see Tiger make the cut. I mean, hands down. Yeah, me too. Absolutely, absolutely. And I thought, I thought he, I thought he played poor in the the last. We couldn't hit a fairway to save his life. No. He struggled off the tee, and that's where you – at Augusta, you can't do that. You can't struggle off the tee. Got to hit the – see, the, no. if you look back, the first two rounds of where he was successful or, you know, he made the cut, he hit the fairway a lot. The final two rounds yeah. where he shot back-to-back 78s, he did not hit the fairway, and that's why he right. did – that's why he finished where he finished. Um, yeah, there is another – Speaking of golf, guys, there's another match happening in June. A match. It's going to be Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers versus yep. Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. So it's four quarterbacks. I saw that. Good. So that's going to be interesting. Is the, is the Rodgers really in effect with this? I don't, I, I'm joking. I, 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 you know what? You know what, Lou? You know what I want to see him do, Lou, on the golf course? I want to see him do the the, the discount double check. Double check. I want to see him do that on the golf course. I do. Yeah, I pay to see that. Myself. Actually, he makes a big putt or something like that. The discount double check. Yeah, I want. To, yeah, you I know. pay to see that myself. <laughs> um, I think that that's pretty cool. I don't know. I know most of those most of those tournaments are for charity. Just kind of. Those cool. uh, worthy cause. Can't hate. You know, can't hate them trying. Uh, no. The ones I know they had one. You know, it was Mickelson Brady. Peyton Manning and Tiger were in the one for all oh, for the uh, for COVID stuff, so that was yes. cool. Yeah, um, so right. it's going to be 
uh, Wednesday, June 1st on TNT uh, is when that's going to happen. Um, Brady and Rogers, the utter statesman at quarterback room, will take on their heir apparent Mahomes and Allen in a 12 hole match play event. So it won't be okay. a 18 hole event. Right. Uh, this will be the sixth iteration of Capital One's the match mm -hmm. and first to not feature a PGA golfer. There will be no PGA players playing. Um, mm -hmm. Brady and Rogers will participate in the event for the second straight summer. Bryce and DeChambeau and Rogers defeated Mickelson and Brady three and two last July. But this time the two veterans will be teammates on the links. I wonder why they're only playing 12 holes and how they're going to determine mm -hmm. the winner. Mm -hmm. They're only playing 12 holes. Well, I guess after, we'll they, after they um, hit the ball and slam and slam the quarterback to the ground, you know, they have to try and, uh, you know, throw it somewhere else. It, you know, it's, 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 you know, full contact golf. Oh, no. That would be, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, my Lord. They're, they got five goals tonight. Jeez. So my five to two, Florida over Detroit. Jesus. Yeah. Five one Rangers and Rounders. Ah. That's good. That's good. The Islanders are going. Islanders have gone downhill this year. Downhill. Down. Yeah. Quite, quite a change from last year when they made the semifinals. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah. They're playing the Lightning in the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Yes, they did. Yep. I think two years in a row, they played them in the Eastern Conference Finals. In the mm -hmm. in the bubble, we played against them too. Mm -hmm. Twenty twenty year we, when we beat Dallas for the, the our That's first right. of the two cups. Yeah, twenty twenty feels like a whole different lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. True. I mean that whole that whole year and a half there from I was like twenty nineteen, you know, like like twenty, like it does. It feels like a bubble. Twenty twenty through yeah. midway through twenty twenty one, it feels like twenty nineteen stopped in March of twenty twenty, and then kind of picked right back up where it left off of in. June of 2021, mm -hmm. like right. that whole that whole 18 months just doesn't feel like it was a thing that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then now it's been almost two years. Yep, strange. Uh, I have two NCAA stories in football mm -hmm. and basketball. I'll start uh, with, of course, if you guys did not hear, Villanova coach Jay Wright is yes, retiring. Yes. I did hear years. that, but I don't, still don't know why. And Villanova, um. I guess they hired who did they who did Villanova hire? What uh somebody they've already hired a coach. Yeah, I have a already. But he's taking another, but he's taking another position, uh, right. So he's only stepping down as coach, but he's not retiring, you know, completely. He's taking another position. Okay, so he's taking a different position. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So I don't I don't think he's fully he's stepping away from coaching. I think he's retiring no. from okay. coaching. But I think he's staying at Villanova for something, something like that. But this isn't the vice president. He was at Hofstra, right? And then he he fixed that program. Then he mm -hmm. they hired him at Villanova, and then he got Villanova back into where it was. Um, what, year did, what year did Villanova win over um, over uh, Georgetown? What year was that? What the uh, what year was that? Raleigh no, Mercino, or was the head coach, or something like that? They beat 83, George. 83. Yeah, that's that was the Ewing, right? 84, 84, 85, 85. Ewing was on that team at Georgetown, right? Yep. Is that right? They won the previous year. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. Yep. 85, okay. the lowest seed ever won the championship. Right. Right. As an eight. Yep. So maybe they thought North Carolina did the same thing. Not to be. Oh, uh, in North Carolina, yeah. you got well, it was a good game. Right. Good game. Less than six years. Um, the other basketball story happens to do with the women's side. It looks mm -hmm. like Ohio State, uh, their team has been given a four-year probation wow. um, for self-reported self violations. I'm guessing it has to do with academics. Um, but oh, they're no, probation, no, no, no. Um, suspended for four years. The two um, college football things I want to talk about both have to do with teams in my area. Um, first of all, UCF claims to be the best team in Florida already. The season hasn't even started yet. Is this, is this because they do crack down there? 
Well, they, you know, they, they, they are the 2015 national champions, by the way. Yes. In, in their own mind. They proud themselves the 2015 uh, champions. Again, they, 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 they call their stadium the bounce house. So that, that should tell you right because there. Because they built it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it does bounce. Not bounce house. Because they Nothing. built it wrong. They did build it wrong. That's correct. Yeah. That is correct. That stadium should not be bouncing like that. I don't think I'm going to go there for a while. I've never been there, and this year's USF UCF game is at Raymond James Stadium, so I'll be covering that game. Um, but I, I, I guess I better take a a trip to the bounce house yeah. from, from what I've heard. So I want full details on that. I'll, 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 I'll be you'll be the first to know as soon as I get there. As soon okay. as I get there, I'll let you okay. know what it's like. <laughs> where, where is UCF? Uh, UCF is in Orlando. Okay. I, about an hour, about a two-hour drive from where I live. So when you come okay. down, bud, in uh -huh. August, we can drive there if you want. It's a two-hour drive. So I might like, come yeah. down in September. Lou, come down in September. That would be awesome. Me, but it's no guarantee. Oh, another goal. Let's go. Let's what go. Beat the, beat the, oh, beat that was a goal. I didn't that one in. Um. Five two. I was, here. I was at the uh, spring game, guys, a couple weeks ago. Um, USF looks okay. I, I'm not. I didn't see anything that really jumped out at me. Um, yeah. Some some sloppy. It's I mean, again, I guess I guess it's, it's it's hard to judge a spring game, right? Because they're playing it against really each other. But it, when you have back to back interceptions, back to back yeah. on back to back plays. So the green team picks off the white team. The white team picks off the green team on the very next play. That, to me, is sloppy. I'm just – I'm sorry. No, I, I agree. It. You know they say there's no exhibition season in, in, college, in college football? Well, guess what? We found our exhibition. They call it the spring game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what it is. That I mean, yeah. every team goes through them. All, every, every team plays one. Yeah, but yeah. everybody's like, you know, oh, there is no priest, there is no exhibition season in college football. Oh, yes, there is, people. You just don't pay attention to the spring game like you think like you think you do. Well, the yeah. spring game is hard. It's hard to say with the spring game because it's not a true yeah, exhibition. Because no, you're not playing your you're playing yourself and you're not playing another team. Right. So it's hard to gauge. It's hard to gauge. Is it good offense, bad offense? Right. You know, is it like should I be worried about do I need to be worried about my defense? Do I need to be worried about my offense? You know, what's going on here? Well, yeah, you got to be a sudden, you know, before the season starts. Well, here's a question I have, and this this was posed, this was asked by a couple of the guys in the – because I well, here's what I did. I had a press pass, so I sat in the I sat in the box for the first half. A friend of mine, a friend of mine that lives above me, is actually a photographer. He got to be on the field the entire night. Ah, right. Um, but I had another friend of mine come with me. That was in the stands. So what I did is I went down in the second half and sat in the stands with him. And I got a lot of questions from people saying, why don't they bring in another like team, at, like, like a double a NCAA two a oh, school to play right. against these kids to kind of make it where they're not playing themselves. What yeah. I mean, would you guys be okay with, Michigan playing a double A school in their spring game. I mean, would you want to do that? I don't think we need to. Do them well, for Michigan, it wouldn't be for, for Michigan, it wouldn't do us any good. Okay. Because we're gonna be playing against because we're gonna be playing I'd rather play ourselves than play a team that's so far below us. Mm. That it's you're you know, I'd rather I'd rather have Michigan's offense play Michigan's defense because then you know you get. <laughs> oh, well, then again, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because Michigan... another goal. Let's go. Uh, there again, Stam Coach just scored a goal, so that put him over. He just set the franchise record. Congratulations, right. Steven Stam Coach. Congratulations, Stevie. Then again, there is that one or two games a year where you have to play, as they call it, the cream puff schedule, where oh, yeah. you play a division, where you play a crappy team like some Division One, Division Two, right. you know, Michigan say uh, versus the University of uh, Duluth or whatever, or or um, the University of Youngstown, Youngstown, 
or um, or like my or my old high school team or whatever. You know, you get you get the idea. You know. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's meaningless, even though it really isn't. Like, like for Michigan, the comp, the level of competition would be so far below to, to bring an STS school in, or you know, or yeah. you know, like Division Two, like Ferris State. Well, they're the best team in Division Two football, but they would get they would get so creamed by Michigan. I mean, Michigan wouldn't learn anything. No. Like I could understand a, I could understand you know, UC USF bringing in somebody like Ferris State to play a game against them. Right. But but Michigan, you know, the level of talent on Michigan is going to be so you're not learning anything. And whereas having, I, I'd rather have, I'd rather have my number one receiver facing my number one corner, where I have a top flight, you know, I have a top flight flight. Um, corner against the top flight receiver and you know i can gauge whether or not you know who's how good or bad my receiver and corners are going to be based on playing it's going to be a lot easier to determine that against each other than it would be against a division two opponent like ferris state uh that was just that was, just, that was a touch of class there i think marty st louis just congratulated uh uh Steve well done what's on passing him I, speaking of Marty St. Louis, the way that he's coached Montreal, I wouldn't be surprised if he don't get the full-time gig. <laughs> Come, he, he next year. Right, yeah. Come next year, he might be the full-time head coach with Montreal. I kind of fear he would be anyway. Uh, he'd at least get the, he'd, they'd at least have him to begin the season. Right. So for right. So that's all, that's all the NCAA football stuff I had. I had a couple articles I wanted to touch on. Okay. Uh, Should we mention it? You mean this? I can bring it up. I can bring it. I know. Me and my big mouth. I, 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 that. I, you mean you, you're referring to this, right? Is that what you're referring to? Yes, that. <laughs> and now for a second, I'm going call it the USFL is what, through week one? Yes. Yeah. Week, through week one? Through week yeah. one. We can start tomorrow. And I now I didn't. I wanted to watch the Bandits. I know it got the game got postponed and they played Monday. Um, yeah. Monday, Monday night. But I guess from what I heard, they had 2.2 million viewers 3.5 actually. 2.5. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad at all. Of course, it was combined with two different networks though. Right. He said that 770 of those were you um were American, American either streaming or that kind of thing. I don't yeah. I don't know. They said 770 thousand of those 2.5 million. So almost I mean close to nearly half were American. You know American football fans, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, right. Not I, bad. Not bad draw for your first week. No, I watched but, a little bit of it. I watched a little bit of it. I got a glimpse of it. Somebody in yeah. one of my friends mentioned, "Hey, you watching the USFL?" I'm like, "Not really paying." There was something else on hockey was on or baseball was on. I'm like, "Not really." But I happened to flip over and watched a little bit of it, so I can't complain too much about it. Yeah, I was streaming that. I was streaming the game myself. I was watching the uh, NBA playoffs, so I used I used over here to catch the uh, you know USFL game. Well, here's. So out of my own week, curiosity, of course. Week two, here's how it's going to break down. You mm -hmm. have the two, the four 0-1 teams all playing each other and the four 1-0 teams playing each other. So the mm -hmm. Friday night at 8 o'clock on USA, you have Michigan against New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Saturday is Pittsburgh at Philadelphia. Well, it's in, at Philadelphia. It's not at. They all play in the same thing. Right. That's at noon. At 7 p.m., you have Birmingham against Houston, and then the Sunday game is is New Orleans against Tampa Bay on okay. three o'clock on Sunday. So I may I may tune in on Sunday to watch the game. Um, I forgot to tell you guys I'm going on a podcast on Saturday afternoon. It's not live, um, huh. but I'm talking about we're talking about Swedish hockey players. I got Peter Forsberg, and Ooh. I got. Um, Oh, who is the famous Chicago Blackhawk? Um, 
Dang it. And they mentioned him in Wayne's World. Gosh darn it. I can't think of the guy's name now. Um, Dang it, man. Hang on a second. I got to look it up. Because it was a, they talked about him in Wayne's World. Zito? No, I mean, he's one of them, but that's not, yeah. No, um, Stan Mikita. Stan oh. Mikita is who I'm talking Stan. about. Um, I guess I have those two. Uh, that's who I'm talking about. So I'll be talking about those two. So I have to go. I have to do some research over the next couple of days. Dan Mikita is Canadian. Okay, well, then it must not be him. I forget who it is then. Oh, Hang on. He was right. born? Let me look it up here real quick. He was born in Slovakia. Slovakia? Okay. Slovakia. Let's see here. Oh, it's right here. Let's see here. Come on. Why is this not opening? Of course it's not going to open. No, it's not going to open. Okay. Let's try it this way. Well, like I guess I know Peter Forsberg is one of them. Yeah, Forsberg. I know he's one of them. He's one of them. Victor Hedman, Backstrom, Swedish. Yeah, for some off close this. Let's see if I can try this again. One quick. Backlund. Rasmus Dalin. And the Nealander. Carlton. Oops. Ross Hagelin. Let's see. Mike Quinn. Victor Alton. Farmwall. It would be European. I'm sorry. It's five European forwards. Okay. Um, let me – okay, hang on a minute, guys. Here we go. Yeah, because Stan Mikita was born in Slovakia. Here we go. I picked – yeah, I, I got Stan Mikita. Stan Mikita okay. and Peter Forsberg are the two I picked. Here's the list. Talk about players. two totally different playing styles. Uh, Matt Sundin, Peter Forsberg, Yari mm -hmm. Curry, Stan Mikita, Peter Stasny, Timu Solani, Yamir Yager, and Andres Hedberg, who will also be a guest on the show. So, oh, wow. Cool. So I get to do – I pick Forsberg and Nikita because those are two names that I know a lot about or I can look up yeah, and right. find stuff about them. But, I mean, I, I going back – I didn't mean to get off talk about the USFL. I will – I'll I'll tune in and, and watch on Sunday. I don't have anything yeah, – sure. yeah. I, had, I had fun on Saturday night. Uh, the, the game I watched Saturday night was really – the end was really good. Like the, the fourth quarter was really good. Yeah. Um, it was a game. game. But the Sunday game was kind of shitty. Yeah. And Monday night wasn't very good either. Monday night was pretty, pretty bad. That's but, I mean, it looks problem. good, you know? I mean, I mean, it wasn't like AAF levels of terrible. It was it was still a co Like, it, it wasn't good football, but it was still a cohesive, functional football. Mm -hmm. Come on, if you're going to go, drop the gloves and go. Yeah, the other thing that we saw. I mean, Giordano against Sorelli. <laughs> Everybody's fighting. Baron, there's other league they have the, the, the fan control league. Oh, you're gonna drop the, if you're gonna, if you're gonna stand there and swing at each other. Well, the, I I guess speaking drop of the, that, the, go. But, the XFL is changing their logo and they're being sued or something like that by hmm. some logo or something like that. Yeah. Let me um. The I saw something about that. I didn't care. Uh, XFL, uh, Dwayne but Rock, to go back. season desist by four Olympians over a new logo that looks familiar. Hmm. So I don't know what hmm. that means. Gotcha. Um, but no, no. As a, a, a functional football league, I think it's got potential. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. didn't. It looked like football. It felt like football. It, it didn't feel like a gimmick or or cheap. It was like. Kind of, it felt like a semi-pro league, and not a, a, a semi-pro league that wasn't a, a couple dozen out of shape frat boys running around pretending like they can football. Yeah, that was a problem with the XFL and the the AAF 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, the pro the real problem with the AAF was that it sucked. The, the <laughs> name right. sucks. The name sucks. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't have any flow to it. AAF just doesn't flow. Right. No. It doesn't. It doesn't make. It just, it's a mouthful. It's hard to say. American <laughs> Athletic. I don't even fucking remember what it stood for. Freakazoid. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> All American like, like your brand, your brand has to make sense. Yeah. From from the beginning, like how you know I'm not how am I supposed to get invested in care in something called the AAF? It's you have to deliberately say it like that because it doesn't work any other way. No. Like NFL, NHL, you know, and you know it's not it's not even an argument of well it's the, those names have been around for so long but they flow. They work. Yes, it's yes. not just a matter of it's yeah. been around forever. It's right. they right. do they do work. The the acronyms the NHL, NFL, MLB, they 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 feel good in the mouth to say. Right. right. AAF never worked for me as a brand. Mm -hmm. Or anything. I mean and they lost money before the league started. And then it sucked. The product was terrible. Yeah, I don't. I I, I want to see the S, the USFL succeed because I mm -hmm. want more competition. I want more football to compete against the NFL to force the NFL NFL to have to innovate and improve and 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 continue to grow and get better. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the, the, I forget who it was. My old man would know, but some forty years ago, there was a sports writer who said there are. I think there was 28 teams in the league at that time. He yes. said yeah. there are tw there were there are 28 teams in the league, and there's only 15 starting quarterbacks. And problem there's problem. there's fifth there's 32 teams in the league now, and there's still only 15 starting quarterbacks. That's problem. No, I, I would I would agree with that. I would agree with that. And I mean, yeah. you go down you go down the list of quarterbacks and say yes or no. We yeah. Can go we can yeah. go down through that and, and go down through the starting quarterbacks and say, yep, nope, not a starting quarterback. No, well, let's see. Um, NFC North is Kirk Cousins. Mm, fence. Yep. No. Jared fence. Goff. Yes. All right. Justin Fields. Yes. And the All well, right. yeah, he's okay. Yeah. yeah. And Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. So I'll say Kirk Cousins is borderline, golf is trash, Fields mm -hmm. is too early, and Aaron Rodgers is a future Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. So um so in the um uh NFC, NFC East is um Dak Prescott Daniel Jones. Yeah. Nope. Um uh, Jalen Hurts. Mm, too early. He's still on the fence on him. Yeah, still on the fence on him. Um, Dak Prescott. Yes, Dak absolutely. Prescott. Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, and then um, Carson Wentz. Mm, uh, no. Borderline. Borderline. I think he's more. I, he falls to me in that category of who's better. Yeah. To me, yeah. he falls in that category of who's better. Yeah. You know, who's yeah. better? Who's better than, you know, that we can go get? So then the NFC, East, North, West, uh, South, uh, when we got Tom Brady. Yep. Future Hall of Famer. Yep. And then you have, um, don't know in Carolina. Okay. Any James questions? Winston. Mm, fence. Mm. I'm going to say no. Okay. And Marcus Mariota. Yeah, I don't. I'd say no to that either. No. I'd say no as well. And then out west in Seattle, you have Drew Lock. Nope. Um. Trey Lance. Trey Lance or Jimmy Garoppolo in in, in San, Francisco. San Francisco. I'm gonna say no to both those. Well, I'm gonna say Jerry still out on Trey Lance and no to Jimmy Garoppolo. Correct. Yep. Garoppolo I agree. Garoppolo. Um, Kyle Murray. Mm, nah. If he's not, if he's he's not complaining about things, yes. 
But if he's complaining <laughs> about things, yeah, that that's yeah. Enough. I'd say I'd say borderline on on Murray. Let's you know this is a make it or break it year. Correct. And then yeah. who's the others? Let's see. Seattle, San Francisco, Matthew, Oh, and Matthew Stafford, of course. Yes. And now, Stafford, and yes. I, I'd say he's the future Hall of Famer. I, I I think even if he didn't win the Super Bowl, Stafford was going to be a Hall of Famer. He may not be a first ballot guy, but he mm-hmm. had done enough in Detroit. Yeah. To, to and be now, inducted, no doubt. And now that he's got a ring, yeah, that's a it's a definite now. It's a lock. Yeah, it's a lock now. Definitely. So then, the NFC. The AFC. As you gonna say, you have the AFC now. Yep. AFC East. You got Mac Jones. Yeah. Still on the fence on Mac. I mean, I, I want to say know. yes. Yeah. I want to say yes, but as it sits right now, I'm going to say yes. Yep. We'll see where we're at in November. Um. Toa Tagovailoa. Uh no. No. Okay. I'm saying I'm going to say no. Josh um, Allen. Yes. Absolutely. Allen's absolutely. Definitely. Um. And then you have um, Zach Wilson in, in still on New the York. fence on Zach. Still on the fence on Zach. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the right. jury's still out on him. Right. The still out on, him. on on yeah. Zach. And then you have the AFC North, which is Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I think Lamar's a starter. I think he could be a starting quarterback. Yeah. I, I yeah. Um, and then you have um. You have Deshaun Watson. McLean. I'd say yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You have um, Joe Burrow. I'd say yes. And then in Pittsburgh, I don't know. Mason and Rudolph. And we're going to say Mason Rudolph, Mason Rudolph's a no. Okay. Ooh, there we go. At Maroon and and um, Wayne Simmons mixing it up. There we go. Uh, were John on the Watch out. And then let's yes, see the yeah. AFC. The AFC West is um, loaded. Patrick Mahomes, yes. Yep. Um, Russell Wilson, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, That's a gimme. Justin Herbert, yes. Yep. Justin Herbert's a definite yes. Um, and who am I forgetting? Who am I forgetting? Who's out? Derek Carr. Yeah, I would say Derek oh, Carr. I, Derek yeah, I would Carr. say yes. I'd say yes. I'd say Derek's and then, the, and then the central is um, oh, Matt so Ryan. Sorry. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, I'd say Matt's a starter. Matt went through a lot in Atlanta. I is give it, Matt up some credit. Or is that the South? Yeah, that's the South. Sorry. South. I mean, Correct. Yeah, Colts. South. yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. Have South. Colts. Indianapolis is in the South. Correct. Okay. Um, uh, I'd say yes on Matt Ryan. Trevor Lawrence? Sure, still out on him. Too early to tell. Needs a new coach. Let's we'll see what they do with the draft. Um, um, who else you got? Uh, you have um, Ryan Tannehill with the Tennessee Titans. I'd say no. No? And then Houston has who? Is Derek Mills? Davis Mills? Davis Mills? I'd I'm say, say no. no. I was going to say I'd say no. Yeah. Yeah, I would say you're right about 15, 16 starting quarterbacks and yeah. the yeah. rest of the league, you know. And everybody else looking for that next great one. Yep. And it's Correct. been that way for 30 years. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a very, yeah. very it, yeah, they got a goal in there that I missed, huh? Did we miss anybody? We didn't miss anybody, did we? We covered all, yeah. all 40 nothing players. now. We covered all thirty-two teams, I think. No, we got all we got all the quarterbacks. I said Tampa Bay missed the goal. I missed the goal in there. Oh, I did too. I, I look up and I four see nothing four nothing. nothing. I think it went off of Kucherov. I think got a goal. Kucherov. He could have been. Oh. So they're up four nothing. Um, but no. Yeah, you know, and it's 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 always about trying to find that next great quarterback, and then having the money to keep him when he when he gets to his when he gets to the end of his rookie contract. Gets the big boy deal. Big boy money, mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. going to be soon for Justin Herbert, for yeah. Tyler Murray, yeah. guys like that. They're yeah. close to those entry yeah. level. That's why. That's yeah. why Kyler Murray has been throwing a temper tantrum on Twitter the last couple of weeks because he wants right. big boy money. Yep, I don't know if Arizona is going to pay him big boy money. <laughs> I don't know. That's the interesting part. 
they'd be a fool not to. Correct. I agree. Uh, I think I think Kyler Murray is a pretty good quarterback. Yeah. Um, well, let me ask you this, guys. If he doesn't get big boy money in Arizona, does he go play baseball? He might. Yeah, 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 I think he will. Just go, just ask it because he could very much switch and go, okay, I'm going to go to the MLB because he was actually going to get drafted in Major League Baseball and he turned by it down. The to the athletics. Yeah, by youth. You're right. By, by Oakland. Right. Which I still think and believe that Oakland's moving to Los, uh, Los Angeles, moving to Las Vegas. So, right. Yeah, they're done. They're I done in that, Oakland. I think. Did Oakland, you see their attendance yeah. figures from the other night? The, it's that stadium is beyond old. It, it's not even funny. That stadium That's was right. old when it was new. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the question, you know, down know. here, but is, you know, we have the Rays, and when you come down in August, I'll show you where Tropicana Field is at. Right. I don't know who's in dire need of a stadium more, the A's or the Rays. I don't know. <laughs> it's, hard to tell. It, it's hard to tell. The A's, the A's have been around longer. I mean, they've been around longer. So they should yeah. get that. They should get that. But that's the thing is, will they get it? <laughs> yeah, somebody, yeah. Somebody yeah. Pony up the money for them to get a new stadium. You know, that's the question that I, I have. don't know. Because they're, I think, I want to say somebody told me the other day that the A's have the lowest payroll in all of baseball. The A's, yeah. not the Rays, the A's are the lowest yep. payroll in all of baseball. Well, they only had 37, 3,700 people in the. Uh... <laughs> 3,700 people in all of baseball. Yeah. What? That's like Montreal back in the in the uh, in the nineties when they before they moved to um Washington. Washington, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. Stu Sternberg wants to move the Rays there because he thinks that's going to work in Montreal. Baseball, mm -hmm. in Montreal. yeah, it right. Didn't work the first time. What do you think it's going to make it work the second time? It isn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, we have a few more minutes. Anything you guys want to want to cover or go more into detail on that we didn't go into detail on? What did we forget? Hold on, I'm I'm pulling up an article from okay. uh, CBSSports.com. This is Isabella Gonzalez. The Oakland Athletics continue to break records this week. Not in the way they wanted. On Tuesday's game against the Baltimore Orioles, they announced an attendance of 37-48, which was the lowest since 1980. That stat was short-lived as Wednesday they, as Wednesday saw a new low of 27:03. To top it all off, the A's picked up a one nothing loss against the Orioles with the lone. Home run coming in the or the long run coming in the fifth. In two games with attendance restrictions of Protocol 19, the A's haven't had a crowd smaller than the 24-43 that showed up for a game against the Texas Rangers on September 9th, 1980, which Oakland won three to one. That's insane. They had 2,600 2, people. 2,600 people in the stands for a baseball game. Wow. Oh, my graduation. That's, that's, that's sad. Let me just say that because that's the organization has never. Now, weather was a factor. They were expecting big storms. Hmm. Well, I just think, I think the fans are just sick and tired of the, the way the team's being run. Yeah. The owner of, of the, Man, it, yeah. Who their owner is, but yeah. So I mean, I'm they not had, sure either. They had the money ball thing, and that worked for a couple of seasons. Drew the fans in. It worked for me. It worked for one. You yeah. know, especially that 20 in a row uh, winning streak. But then after that, the bubble burst. Is that the longest winning streak in, in Major League history? The 20. No. No. No, it was 26 by the Indians. I think it was. The longest winning oh streak as far as games. Yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think I can set a, set a MLB record. But it's, uh, I think it's got a franchise record, but I don't think overall. Or maybe they set the American League record. 
Yes. Yeah, Cleveland mm-hmm. reset the American League record in 2017. The National League 1916 New York Giants won a record 26 games in a row. The longest American League stretch streak is 22 by the 2017 Cleveland Indians. And neither one of them won a World Series. The Giants didn't win in 1915? 1915, I don't think so. They finished in fourth place in the National League with a record of 86 and 66, seven, seven games behind the Brooklyn Robins. That's insane. That it's is insane that you win that many games in a row and don't finish in first place overall. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And back then, it was only the American National League. None of this Central stuff and uh, West and whatever, you know, got that crap. Right. Straightforward. Well, the, and the, 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 the Polo Grounds is one of the biggest stadiums in MLB history as far as yes. it was like 500 yeah. feet or something to center field wall. It was huge, or 450. It was a it was a deep ballpark where the Giants played. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of course, the famous call for them was the uh, <laughs> shot around the world against the, the Dodgers. Against the Dodgers. Yeah. Holy shit! Memphis came all the way back. It's 94, 95, 91. Memphis. What? Wow! Look at the Grizz. Oh, oh boy. I thought good. this game was over, so I'd been watching the hockey game. Guess again. That's playoff basketball for you right there. That's NBA playoff. Yeah, 95, 92, two and a half to go. Down by the so they've gone from being down by how many points? Down oh, by 20 eight. to up by three. With two now by five. Up by five. Up by what five. That's awesome. That's, good. That's, that's just sports in general for you, man. Yeah. Yep. Can't look away. You'll miss not even, not even with a 25 point lead. I'm not sure what their biggest what meant, but Minnesota's biggest lead was. Yeah. I had to think about it. The team better wolves. I didn't want to say the wrong place. I because I was thinking I was like trying not to say Milwaukee. <laughs> trying to think Minneapolis. My first thought was Minneapolis, but they're they're not the Minneapolis. Timberwolves, they're the they're the Minnesota Timberwolves. So I almost said Milwaukee instead of Minnesota. Instead of Minnesota, they won their first playoff game well the other day, right? And since what two early two thousands, uh-huh. something like that, yeah. You look wore out, Lou. It's yeah. been a while. I right, we can. I mean, we're at the at the last minute, guys. If you got uh, shows, yeah, right, right ahead. Yeah, All right. Guys. Enhanced Sports Show is Saturday, 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Number to call is 512-543-4662. RP that again, 512-543-4662. NBA playoffs, definitely on the schedule. Uh, we'll also talk about the U.S. Um, We also got we'll, – we'll discuss also the um, – what we had the Boston Got Marathon. it! Boston, Boston Marathon. We got some PGA news to mention. Um, maybe I'll cover a little bit of the uh, tennis with the uh, debacle of Wimbledon. Uh, we'll cover some UFC and boxing news as well. So, if you got time on Saturday, feel free to give a call. Uh, uh, no invitation necessary, just come on in. If you do come out, I guarantee I'll get you on. <laughs> on that note, I'll say good night. Operators are standing, so have I. <laughs> uh-huh. Guys, thank you again for everyone that tuned in. I guess Kevin and Peyton and all you guys, thanks for coming on. I don't know who the third person was. I saw three eyes, three things. On the top. So whoever the third person was. That was me. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so thanks to Kevin. I had, I had it open so I could. That's cool. No, nevertheless, it's fine. I had it open so I could see who was commenting. Right. That's fine. Uh, we will be back again next week, guys. But again, the whole show will be about the draft. Uh, yeah, we won't have any be talking topics. It will be about the NFL. May, we might we might try and sneak some stuff in in between. Um, if there's a lot of dead space, yeah. correct. Or during yeah. commercials, so famous for that. Yeah, We're, we can always slip something in between the the cheeks there. Yes, correct, correct. So so 
uh, if you have any, if you really have NFL burning NFL questions, bring those the next week, and we're gonna really do a yeah. big fall time, and we'll yeah. be keeping an eye on on both the NBA and NHL playoffs as well. Yes. Correct. So, um, but with that, guys, this has been the Walker Report, part of In the Zone Sports Talk Radio, part of NGSC Sports. Remember the website, guys. It's ngscsports.com for all your current sports content. And we are sponsored by creatingzenspaces.com. Thanks to Lou and Adam for making this day of the week so great. Uh, nice. Thank you guys for you know making the show great. Uh, making we, Thursdays great again. We will be back again next week. Uh, and so then, guys, we love all of you. Uh, again, we always say uh, thoughts and prayers to our women of our armed services, men and women, and our first responders. Thank you for doing what you do. But until next Thursday, guys, everyone, stay safe out there. Peace. What a comeback. Wow. Yeah.